All right, now for one of my favorite parts of the show where we take questions from the curious retirees out there looking to fight back. Now we'll take a question here in a minute, but first let me introduce today's guest, Anna Christine. Hey Greg, how you doing? I uh, love having you here today. Anna Christine is one of the partners at Ehler Stylings, focusing on elder care law and brings all kinds of great long-term care and tax knowledge yep. to this show. So let's dive in, Anna. Let's hear the first caller. Yeah. Hi, I'm uh, Mike from Mommy. I have $800,000 in my IRA, and I'm invested in a basket full of uh, dividend-paying stocks. I'm making around uh, 4% a year on the dividends. My wife and I are both about 72 years old, and we have three adult children. Am I making the right decision? Wow, that's a great question. Someone that's a little bit more savvy too, that understands, hey, you know what, I'm, I'm calculating my dividend income, I'm thinking about returns. I also understand that I have to take money out of this eventually now that I'm 72, and I'm gonna start getting RMD bills every year. So it seems like, you know, obviously he's on the right track. What kind of, how would you steer him? Sure, sure, Greg, I mean, in this case where somebody's worried about getting some return on investment, one of the things that they're not really considering when they're taking that out, you know, is tax consequences, right? Because if you're only taking that required minimum distribution, that means more is left in the bucket to be taxed if you were to pass away or if both you and your spouse pass away and then you can be hit with some really hard tax penalties. So when Anna dives in and talks about these penalties, you know, most people don't understand some of the basics of IRAs. Right. And when you take a step back and say, you know what, I'm always gonna to have to pay tax on this. No matter what, Uncle Sam is gonna take this money out. Maybe walk them through some of the 101 aspects of getting through, I guess, your uh, IRA distribution plan. Sure, yeah, I mean, everyone knows, hey, you have to take required minimum distributions when you're 72. But you can start taking distributions out of those retirement accounts when you're 59 and a half. And a lot of times financial advisors won't really talk about this because who wants to say, hey, take money that's gonna be taxed? Almost no one, right? But the reality is, if you wait until you're 72, you have just played into Uncle Sam's game because they don't make it that age for, you know, for protecting you or for giving more money back in your pocket. It's about getting more tax dollars. And so they are just hoping that you wait until 72 because the reality is that when you are retired and your income is low, that is really, really good from a tax perspective because that means that you are going to be paying lower taxes, lower income tax. But what happens when your spouse dies? Well, all of a sudden, your spouse, the surviving spouse, is a single filer now. That means an increase in taxes. That can be huge. That can be huge for widows and widowers. Um, and then what happens when your spouse passes and you pass along that retirement money to your kids? Well, guess what? they're gonna have to pay taxes on that. And sometimes they're in their best income earning years, right? They're a little bit older, advanced in their careers, and now, boom, huge tax liability. I mean, that is a huge kaboom that no one talks about, particularly True. financial advisors, right? That right. kaboom coming in the form of widows and kiddos penalty that you just talked about sure. is a very real thing that can be the difference between paying 10% mm -hmm. or 40% of Absolutely. your entire IRA to Uncle Sam, which means right. if you have $100,000, that means you could end up paying 10,000 Uncle Sam or 40,000 right. Uncle Sam, which is kind of scary. And I can't help but think the reason that financial advisors aren't diving into this conversation is that they don't have the expertise, sure. they don't have the CPA team, or sure. maybe they don't want to pay taxes because they're charging 1%. So if you paid taxes right. and started to plan, they would make less money. That is all true. That is all true. And a very scary thing if you're not planning for it in advance, right? Sneaks up on you. 